Welcome. My name is Ranjana Jain. I work as an IT Pro Evangelist with Microsoft India. Today I'm going to be talking about the power efficiency with Windows 7 and Windows Server 2008 R2. Power efficiency has got a whole new meaning with Windows 7, whether you're working with your desktops, laptops or netbooks. We've done a lot to save power on Windows 7 in various aspects. Windows Experience Index actually evaluates uh, to the level and lets you know what has prevent which component in your computer is actually preventing you from unleashing the power of Windows 7. It gives you suggestions based upon uh, based upon the components rating like if your uh, hard disk is actually having a lower RPM and having a better RPM can give you a better, exp a better experience of Windows. It gives you suggestions as to what components you might consider uh, for upgradation or for changing or any kinds of adjustment which can actually result you uh, in saving power usage on your computer. In Windows Server 2008 R2 which is a complementary uh, which is a server operating system that complements Windows 7 uh, we have a, got a feature called as core parking. So if you were installing Windows Server 2008 R2 on a server which is having multiple cores and running multiple virtual machines on Hyper-V with different virtual machines requiring different number of, number of cores at different point of times with respect to usage, the usage of cores can go either up or down based upon the requirement on the go. So while a virtual machine might be requiring uh, to run on a quad core utilizing all four cores at one time of high usage, it might require to just run on two, uh, two cores at another time of low usage. Besides having a choice of multiple power schemes that you can adjust as IT administrators, you even have tools uh, which using command prompt you can run to analyze what components of your operating system or your computer are consuming more power than they are expected to. Administrators can use this tool called as Power CFG using the command prompt and various options where they can adjust set the power scheme of their choice onto the mobile computers, uh, laptops, netbooks and desktop computers and can generate reports using power CFG slash energy which will analyze the usage of power on their computers for about 60 seconds and generate a nice report on what components of your system whether your processor, uh, the fan, motherboard and how much power is being consumed by each of these components onto your system and it will give you alarms as to where the power consumption goes higher than the expected value. And based on these, you can actually upgrade or change the required components onto your system or adjust their settings so as to optimize the power consumption. Also while using Windows 7, you can now view the complete uh, Hindi movie DVD of 3 hours without recharging your uh, laptop or while you're in a flight. This is a result of slowing down or spinning of the DVD while uh, DVD is being read from the DVD, DVD reader. And this results you in seeing a complete movie even while uh, not, being, uh, not having to recharge your laptop while uh, you're on a flight or on a tour. These are some of the features that really enhance uh, uh, the, the, uh, the power efficiency in both Windows 7 as desktop, compute, com as desktop operating system and Windows Server 2008 R2 as a server operating system, giving you a green idea.